Hello kid, welcome to your Moodle classroom. I am going to share with you a new idea which I know will help you to easily navigate here in Moodle. Have you seen this icon in your Moodle classroom? This icon is for forum. It is a space in your Moodle classroom where you can share your thoughts and opinions about the questions or concepts posted by your teacher. You can also give comments on the answers of your classmates here. As for this video, I have here an example of an activity using Forum in Moodle. It is entitled Performance Task 1 Share and Comment. As you can see, for this activity, you have two options to know the instruction of this activity. You can either read through yourself the instructions or you can just click this arrow to play the recorded audio transcription of your teacher for the instructions. As for this video, I am going to read this by myself. Here it is. Go back to our lesson on writing a descriptive paragraph about the setting and characters of a story. Share your thoughts on how to describe characters and setting of a story. You can do this by clicking Add the New Discussion Topic. Your title should be My Thoughts. Then, type in your answer in the message box. Once you're done, click Post to Forum. Then, you must choose at least three of your classmates. Read their thoughts, then write a comment in their answers by clicking the button Reply. Remember to be respectful in giving comments. So that's the instruction of this activity. How are we going to type in our answer? Step 1. Click the button Add a new discussion topic. That button is located in the bottom left of your screen. After clicking the Add a new discussion topic button, this is what will appear in your screen. There is a subject box and there is a message box. For step 2, on the subject box, type in the title as instructed by your teacher. For step 3, in the message box, type in your answer or thoughts or whatever it is asked from you by your teacher. For step 4, once you are done with your answer in the message box, just click Post to Forum button. After clicking Post to Forum button, your answer will appear in the forum section. You can see the title of your work, the author, and the date and time it is submitted. Since part of the instruction of this activity is to give comments on the answer of your classmates, here are the next steps. For step 5, if your teacher asks you to give comments to your classmates' answer, all you have to do is to click his or her submitted work. For step 6, once you have opened your classmate's work, read his or her answer before giving your comment. If you have already read and understood his or her answer, click the reply button. For step 7, you can now type in your reply or comment to his or her answer inside the reply box. Once you are done, you can click Submit. You can also opt to check the box before reply privately if you want your comment to be seen only by your classmate who wrote the answer you are commenting to. But since it is a part of the instruction to give comments, you don't have to reply privately so that others can see your comment. That is how you use Forum in Moodle. 
Always remember that in using forum in Moodle, respect is the most important word. We must always be respectful in giving comments and opinions to our classmates' submitted answers. I hope that this short video helped you to know how to use forum in Moodle. Enjoy learning! Bye!